Hi, thank you very much for watching me. Uh, I hope you're doing great. Today in this video, I am going to speak about functions. I have chosen to use some functions okay, that are mostly repeated in the national exam. And I have uh, taken these functions from the national exams, from many national exams. Okay, so as to know how to deal with them. Okay, the famous question, okay, we have in the national exams, write appropriate responses to the following situation. Take with me the first one, please. Your classmate can't decide what to do during holidays. Okay, when he is or she is on her on, on holiday, he can't know what to do. So you're going to make a suggestion, okay, as given here, to suggest, to propose. So to suggest, we can use uh, different expressions. I have chosen to use these. You can use how about or what about. By the way, this expression should be followed by the plus ing form. So how about or what about, let's say, learning, okay, as a suggestion, learning a new language, Spanish, Chinese, and so on. So this is number one. Number two, we can use why don't you? Why don't you, for example, uh, take up, start, take up a new activity, okay? A new sport, okay? Reading, uh, doing some uh, thing which is new, okay? To pass time. Uh, take with me the second situation. Uh, we have reading books is better than watching movies. So here we have, we compare between books and movies. So what is your opinion about this? Okay, uh, so we can say to express your opinion, express your opinion. This is the, the uh, let's say the, the, the function they give us, so as to express our opinion. So here we can say for me, Okay, you can write for me or in my view. Okay, come on. In my view, I think, I believe, it seems to me, as far as I'm concerned, I do believe. Okay, personally, I think. Okay, these are there are many expressions, but you have to choose two, three that are uh, okay, and you can use them in, in writing as well as in speaking. So for me. Let's say books are much better. This is my opinion. Okay, you can express yours much better than movies. Okay, you can say because you can uh, explain because they okay give us or they provide us provide us with much vocabulary, vocabulary, provided with much, with many words, much vocabulary, and form our opinion, okay? And form our opinions, okay? Good, so here we express our opinion about books. We uh, t think that books are better. Let's move on to the, 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 to the next situation. We have Ahmed is in the museum. He asks a man, he asks a man to take a photo of him. He is in the museum and he wants to take a photo of him, but uh, okay, he asks somebody to help him. So make a request. So how to make a request? We can use would you, could you, and you, right. So would you, for example here, could you take a photo of me, please, you write please, please is one of the magic words that we use, please, sorry, thank you, and so on, there are some magic, these are some magic words that are necessary to be used, okay, could you or would you, okay, uh, could you, can you, would you, And you write please. So this is, or these are two expressions we can use in expressing or when we make a request. What about giving advice for the next one? Your friend can decide whether to buy a tablet or a laptop. Okay, you 
Okay, you have to advise your friend. Okay, because he is confused between buying, let's say, a tablet or a laptop. So you have to uh, advise advise him to provide him with uh, with advice. So to give advice, you know, there are many expressions. We can say you should, you should, you ought to. Okay, you should, you ought to, for example, buy a tablet because it can be a phone and a tablet. Okay, because it plays the role of phone and tablet. Because tablet, because it can be a phone or a mobile phone, a mobile or cell phone. A mobile phone and a laptop a laptop a laptop or you can say here another expression to give advice if I were you I would it's function type 2 if I were you I would buy a tablet because it is more practical, more pra practical, it is more practical, okay? So what is important is uh, here is the, the, the expressions you should, you ought to, uh, if I were you, I would, and so on, okay? Good. The last one, if you, uh, if you like, a friend of yours got his back with excellence, so you've taken your back exams, you've uh, got the grades, and your one of your friends got the back with excellence, with high marks. So here you're going to respond to good news because he's a good news. At the end of the day, you have to con congratulate him. So on that. So here, what are you going to say? You can say, okay, I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that. To hear. That I'm glad to hear that. Congratulation, congratulation, congratulations, congratulations. Or you can write sounds that sounds great. Okay, okay, congratulations. So you can say I'm glad to. For bad news, you can say I'm sorry to hear that. And for uh, good news, you say I'm glad to hear that. So uh, these are some sit situations that I have chosen to you uh, to know how to. Uh, deal with them when you take the uh, exam okay so i hope you've understood i hope you've got something from this video thank you very much for watching and we will meet for other for another video to speak about another lesson thank you again